What's going on YouTube? So in this video today I'll show you how you can make an as-built survey using only AutoCAD LT. So uh, we're still going to use the, this example site plan that I've been working on in the past couple of videos. So I'm just going to show you how you can um, do an as-built survey, how you can make it in AutoCAD. So in this I'm just going to do an as-built survey of a road and I'm just going to show the heights at known changes. So there's quite a few steps to do but I have made um, I've made a bit of a guide to follow. So how to make an as-built survey in AutoCAD and we're using a road survey as an example. So step one is to actually do the survey. And to do this you want to do it at known changes so you have something to com compare compare your survey with. So you can so you can compare it back to the design information. So when you're out there doing the survey you'll be picking up this information. So this was from a previous video, how to export points. So you're just going to go along with your total station. You're going to you're going to go into stake out, and um, you're just going to get over to this point, for example, change five, change fifteen, right. You're going to stake out whether it's on top of the curb or edge of a road or top of a temporary brick on edge. You're going to go to it, stake out. Once you're on top of it and you're happy with position, just click measure. And once you click measure, it stores it automatically into your total station. And once you've done this for all the points, all the known changes, and you can survey around the radius just every couple of meters, um, you're just going to copy that data out. And then we want to step two, export the survey data from the total station into Excel. So that's as simple as putting your USB stick into your, into your logger, copying the job out, and then um, putting it into Excel. So I've already done that. So if I go back to my desktop, this is what it comes out as. It comes out as um, just a text file. So we need to put this into Excel and just tidy up and delete any information off we don't need. So we'll just go along to the next step. Step two, export, export survey data and delete unnecessary information. So to do that, just open up Excel. Browse. Go to desktop. I'm going to go to all files and we can see see it there. So you follow this wizard. Next, so it's separated by a comma. So that comma and finish. So this is the information. So when you're actually doing a survey, so when you go stake out, measure, the instrument will put um, put a prefix in front of it. So this is what his point name is, but I've added SIUV in front of it so I know what was actually surveyed. So I'm just going to delete off any unnecessary information that I have. A few moments later. Okay, so now we've got it tidied up, um, ready to import this into AutoCAD. We'll just go to step three on the document. Step three, import data into AutoCAD using a script. Okay, so this can get a little bit complicated, but I made a little guide for this. How to import points into AutoCAD LT with height shown as text, perfect for as built survey. So get surveyed points to Excel, first point, yeah we've done that. Use the following command concatenate point comma and this is just to get it into the right format. So I'll show you how to do that now. So you can just go here and just type along but I'm just going to copy and paste it. Copy that, and I'll just pop it in here, paste. I'll show you how it comes out. So it comes out as point, east ignoring, height, text, east ignoring, height, and this is just showing the height of the text and what we want it to be. This is just so it works with a script file. Make sure it's the right information, yep. So I'll drag that up and get that top one. I'll drag it down to get all the others. So yep. So yeah, it's all in there now. I just double click, just make sure it's on the yep, it's on the right on the right row. So now I move down to the next step. 
Next step is copy and paste this into a notepad. So that's easy enough. Just open a notepad. Select all this information. Control C for copy. Go back into notepad, I'll close that one down. Go back into notepad, control V for paste. And we have to save this as a script file. Let's go back to the guide. Save as, make sure I save as .scr, which is the extension for script. So I'll just save that. File, save as. So I'm just gonna save it in desktop. Just gonna call it as built survey info dot scr and save close and then we're actually gonna go into AutoCAD LT. Well, I'll actually go back to the guide. Import data into AutoCAD using a script. And then we're just going to AutoCAD and um run the command script to actually get it in. We'll go back into AutoCAD now. So once we're here, I want to show this information. I might just make a new layer for it. I'll just call this as built info. Make it current. Change the color to say magenta. And then we're ready to run the script. To run the script, just type in script. Enter. Select where we want the script. This is what we saved it as, as built survey info. Open. And let it work. I'll just change the point styles. So 5%. I want to set an absolute unit. It's just going to see what it looks like at 0 0.5. That's looking a bit I might make it even a touch smaller. Point styles, I'll make it 0 0.2. Yeah. So as you can see, it's picked up and it's plotted the height of these at known points. So now, if we just go back to this, so tidy up the drawing and make it presentable. So now it's just using just some basic basic AutoCAD information or basic AutoCAD skills just to tidy this up make it look a bit better so we, we want to know what changes these are and to do that I just go back to this this here I might copy over the center lines and I might copy over these points or I'll just select all them copy that over and I might even copy over these points as well Okay, so I've got that over. I just want to make this a bit more presentable. And to that, I just really want um, just want to denote what these heights are. So we know that's chainage 15 there. We know that's chainage 20, but I just want to show it on a plan. So I'm just going to get some text and I take multi line text. I'm just going to start at chainage 0 here. So I'm just going to call this just chainage 0. And then I'm just going to just array that down. Array path, select object, select path, which is the center line. Or maybe 5 meters. Okay, close array. Explode this. Exploded that. I'm just going to do the same over here for this road. Uh, I'm just going to name these actually. No, I'll do the same for this road. So I can copy that one, paste that one. Let's start this road here. Change the color just so we can see it for now. Make that one green. And array this one. Array path. 
select path, which will be this one. Every five meters again. Close array. Explode that. And we can see that one for here. So I can just copy that. Copy that. So we could just do it one now, just turn snap off. One there. And one there. Okay. Okay, so now I've got that and we can just um, we can just delete everything else off or freeze everything else off. So I say freeze that off, freeze set lines off, freeze these points off, and I'll freeze these points off. So I don't need these points up here. So I just usually just type in So this was chain age fifteen. So as you type in chain age fifteen, chain age twenty. And I usually just go along and just just name all that. So I'll just do that quickly. Chain age twenty. Now I've got all these changes named. I quite like the colour green, so I'm just going to make them all green. Select similar, make them all green. And delete these first couple off. So it's looking quite tidy. You can see you can see what it means. I'm just going to copy this one down here. Put this here. It's just all about tidying up, just making it presentable for how you want it. I'm just going to put endpoint there. I'm going to make this one endpoint. Endpoint there. So now, if you're looking at this, you know change 25 relates to these two points here. But it might be nice just to have a line across, and to do that, we can just copy that out from this information we've got here on this other drawing. So we can just go select similar and copy them them lines over. So Control C. Wait. A few moments later. Okay, so I'll just put these um, these dashed lines in just to. Just to help show what what changes these these survey points are. So this is change thirty five, so you can see from the line which it is. I'm just gonna further go along and just tidy up a bit more. So that point is so you can just tidy up however however you want really. I'm just gonna delete this one off because you don't, don't really need it. And um, it's up to you whether you want to leave the drainage in. For this example, I'm just going to delete the drainage off. Okay, so I think that's looking quite tidy. A good survey, so... So it shows the elevation, shows which change it is, clearly marked. I'll just delete that house connection off. There, enter. Okay, so now for the last step. So we've tied it up, made it look a bit more gentle, make a layout and export to PDF. So this is quite easy. So you just go to your layout. Page setup manager. Modify. What kind of size paper do you want it on? So I'm just going to say I want this on A1. Want it landscape. Landscape scale 1 to 1. Okay. Close. So that's A1 size sheet paper. And um, I've made a title block before. I can show you I've made that in another video, but I'm just going to import that now. Insert. Block some other drawings. Here's my title block here. I'm going to stick it there. Drawing title. And let's call it as, as built survey. Revision A, development name, let's call that site A. Date, today's date is the 7th of the 5th, 2020. Scale, I'm just going to have this as not to scale because we don't need to scale it. Drawn by MAH, MAH, MAH. Drawing numbers 001. Okay. 
That's a bit small, I'm just going to scale that up a bit. Scale to my snap back on, scale from that. I'd say about where it's looking good. Close that. So that's my title block. As built survey, set A, not to scale. And to go. Okay, so now I've got my title block in. As you can see, now we just need to make a viewport. So there's a couple ways you can get a viewport in. You can just type in viewport and select one from here, whichever one you like. Or you can just go up to where it says layout up here and you can select a new one, a new viewport from here. I like to go for a, for a polygon one. So I just like that because you can do do some good shapes with it. So I just go into ortho and you just click around wherever you want it. So you usually leave a bit of space out so I can enter any revisions around my title block. Go up here and just see for close. And there it is. You just zoom into where you what you want to show. So that's about all I want to show on this drawing. So yeah, everything's looking alright. It's looking tidy enough. This is just an as-built survey of a road, so I'd also like to pick up other information, like on another as on another survey, I might survey the drainage, show the inverts, show what kind of gradient it's laid out. But this is just for a road, just a good record. Okay, so that's looking a lot tidier now. You can see everything on here. See the road names. See the changes. You can see the elevations. We've got a good title block in there. So now it's just output, export as a PDF. What do I want to save it as? As as built road survey. I will replace the one we did before. Let it open up. And yeah, that's looking quite good. It shows all the information that you need. You can check these known changes back to your long section. But yeah, I'd say that's looking quite good. So that's it for this video, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.